In this episode, I'll be featuring the top 20 Bruce Lee books, and it's coming right up. What's up guys, Charles Damiano back from the Bruce Lee Collection for another exciting episode. In this episode I'll be featuring my good friend out of Scotland, his name is Peter Reynolds and his top 20 Bruce Lee books. In speaking with Peter the other day, he reminded me that he has over 330 books in his Bruce Lee collection, and he's been collecting for over 48 years now. And for those of you who are not familiar with Peter Reynolds, we featured him on the show twice already. One time we highlighted his entire Bruce Lee collection, the other time we highlighted his top 10 magazines on Bruce Lee and if you haven't caught any of those episodes I'll make sure to feature them on the link above so you don't miss a thing. In this episode we decided to highlight his top 20 Bruce Lee books. Now these are the top 20 books that are most important to Peter. They're in no particular order. We're just going to feature the top 20 that are the most significant to him and that he enjoys the most out of his 330 books. And we'll do a countdown from 20 all the way to the number one, but like I said, it won't be in any particular order. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy the episode. When I saw these top 20 books, I was just floored by the beauty of the the front covers and the back covers which we'll be featuring on this show. So for now, why don't you guys sit back and enjoy Peter Reynolds' top 20 Bruce Lee books.
please let Peter know because I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. So comment below, let him know which ones of the top 20 were your favorites and mention that in the comments. And first off, I want to start by thanking Peter for getting me those pictures on the books. I know it's no easy task rummaging through your Bruce Lee collection when you've been collecting over 47 years and pulling out the top 20 books that mean the most to you. So thank you very much, Peter. Love featuring on the show, and I'm sure the guys enjoyed that as well. Secondly, I'd like to thank you guys for always tuning in and participating in the comments. We keep the channel very engaging, so I love the community that we're building. We're up over 5,000 subscribers now, and it's people like you who make this channel really special. So thank you guys very much. Thirdly, I just want to mention once again, I came out with this beautiful collector's t-shirt. It features a martial art man and a gold dragon, and it says uh, Collector's Edition Volume 1, and on the back, it says my favorite tagline, have fun collecting. And if you haven't picked up one yet, please do so, because those of you who are picking up one of the t-shirts and emailing me with you wearing it, holding your favorite collectible, we're putting together a fun episode. We'll be featuring all the collectors in the episode. We had quite a few people purchase the t-shirt so far. We actually had Peter Reynolds purchase it, Louis Cotto, Jesse Adewara, and many others. So please, if you haven't purchased it, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below and you can enjoy one of these beautiful collectors t-shirts. And once again, guys, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, please remember Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Charles Damiano signing out from the Bruce Lee Collection, as always saying, have fun collecting. See you next Friday, guys.